Hello, I'm Robert Hindleider. On Memorial Day of 2009, I had sudden hearing loss on my right side. Uh, just like throwing a light switch. I lost my hearing, my balance, and my uh, mental chemical stability. I couldn't stand up, I couldn't walk, uh, I couldn't stay awake. It threw me into a uh, big depression, and I'd always had been kind of negative on depressions before, because I figured people just weren't strong, but until that hits you, uh, you really don't understand the traumatic experience you go through that. And I end up being hospitalized about 10 days in order to recover from that situation. This video is with Dr. Shannon to where I come back in for a checkup after I've had my BP-100 for about six months. And they do another audio test and uh, make corrections and adjustments on the uh, BP-100. Okay, now I'm going to play those beats. So whenever you hear them, even if they're really faint, just say yes to me. Okay? <laughs> no cheating on that one. Oh, I heard a little hum then. Okay. There. There. Just barely. Yes. 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 That's going to be an issue. <laughs> okay. Yes. 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 Okay, there we go. Now we'll recalculate. Oh, you finished? Yes, so you can look at me. I turned my head around so they could. So it's mm -hmm. cheap. No, I wanted to, so the camera people could see it on the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now this is your everyday program. Are you getting any of that want, 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 want? No. Okay. How does it sound quality wise? Pretty good. Okay. Um, based off of your last time we did this, you went down, or your threshold changed just a little bit. So that may be why. Did the thresholds go up or down? or? Just down, in the very low frequencies. I'm not too concerned about it. So. I thought it changed quite a bit. Sound quality wise? No. It sounds like my hearing is, I've lost some of it. But that'll so. be in your other ear. Right, it'll, it'll be, be over in here. The Baja ear. Yeah. So, and that doesn't play a part. Well, it doesn't play a part. It takes sound here and sends it over there. Right. But <laughs> hearing air conduction-wise, it doesn't matter. Phone conduction-wise, it does matter. So it came down just a little bit through bone conduction. Oh, that's but, what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So All right, I understand. Then we'll do a hearing test to see if you are starting to lose hearing over there in that 
other year. Okay. And then if you are, then we'll have to look at other Now, then you, you said later that uh, if I lost too much hearing, they could go in there and do a cochlear implant. Do they implant it into this ear then? And then I could hear from this side with that type of implant, even though the follicles or whatever you call them in there, or it, it won't hear any, I can't hear any air sound over there. Air sound. Well, I mean, any sound coming in from outside, I can't hear anything. Right now you can't. And wow. I can't hear anything with this thing here on this side. Right. All the hearing's over here. Right. But what the cochlear implant does is it puts an electrode into the middle ear, or into the inner ear, and replaces those hair cells. Oh, okay. And so now the, elect the, um, the electrode acts as like what the hair cells like I hear. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was and wondering about that. Well, and it, it takes the stimulation that the hair cells give the auditory nerve, uh -huh. and now stimulates that auditory nerve. Oh, all right. I didn't understand yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you said they go in the same, the the the, the same place, oh, the same. Yeah, yeah, they they remove the implant and mm -hmm. go right on through. Mm -hmm. At least that's what they've done on my last two patients. All right, <laughs> very good. It's nice to know. Yeah. Okay, so this one sounds okay. Yes. Loud enough. It's about perfect. Clear enough. Yes, it's real clear. Good. Okay, now let's go to program two. Program two is for noise, yeah. so like restaurants. Right. So I should sound a little bit quieter in here. It's about the same. It's about the same. Okay. I didn't notice any change in your voice. Can you hear the truck as well? No, you shouldn't hear no, uh, hear it so much in my voice. But I haven't heard a truck at all. You didn't hear a truck on program one? Oh, there's a truck outside. There's there a truck can. outside. I didn't pick it up. Um. No, what program two does is it rolls off some of your lower frequencies where background noise is responsible. Okay. So what I'm going to do, since you've had troubles in the past with that, is I'm going to take some more of those low frequencies out and okay. see if that will help. Uh, yeah. It won't make it perfect. I'm not expecting it to okay. be perfect, but <laughs> in, in, a, in a restaurant, uh, Sharon listens, and then when it gets quiet, she tells me what the conversation was about. Okay. Well, that's